Hello everyone, today we're going to do a review on how to set up this Vivor vinyl cutting machine. It is a 34 inch vinyl cutting machine. It's like a cricket machine on steroids. Um, I'm going to show you how to assemble it, set it up, and get it working with the software so you can um, print out your own vinyl signs and transfers. So let's get started. So when you get your v it's going to be in a huge box. I've already uh, taken out of the box and uh, moved it out of my way. You will have to assemble the stand, but it's very easy to assemble. You will get a USB drive that has all video instructions in it on how to use the, the machine, how to assemble the stand. Pretty much every instruction you need is on this uh, USB. So uh, that's a plus right there. I've already assembled the stand. It takes probably about oh, 15, 20 minutes to assemble the stand. But once it's assembled, it's going to look like this. These are just rollers that you use to put your, your vinyl, vinyl rolls on. And uh, it comes with all kinds of uh, vinyl to get started with. You've got several rolls of vinyl. And uh, it comes with a cutting mat. So you can use the... Uh, like the sheets of vinyl you would get in a hobby store just like if you was using a Cricut machine you can use this this mat just like that it comes with uh, the software for your computer so you can um, operate the machine an, uh, an operation manual comes with three cutting blades cables for your computer a squeegee and some tools and also like a little pin if you want to use that on the machine to plot with um, so it comes with a lot of accessories and the first thing you're going to do is obviously is like I said put the stand together and then once you have your stand together the machine just sets on it like this there's four holes and it just sets right in these holes just like that so it doesn't, which way, it doesn't matter which way your stand is facing because it can turn around and face either way so once we have that on there the next thing you need to do is to put the blade in there so you're going to get three blades in a little package like this I've already taken one out and this is what the blade goes into. I've already got the blade in here, but I'll show you how to put it in there and adjust it. So here is what holds your blade. You're going to take your blade so the blade is facing up. Press down on this button on the back and just drop it in. Just like that. Let go of the button and it pulls the blade down in there. Now to adjust the blade, you got to lock in screw right here that you can turn and loosen and then this top part will screw the blade in or out see it's out now and I'm going to screw it back you want this blade to barely I mean barely be protruding from the bottom of that cutter right there just so you can barely feel it with your finger that way it doesn't cut through your vinyl and backing once you got that where you can barely feel it, then you tighten this locking ring up right here. Just like that. I mean, I can just barely feel that blade on my finger. Now you're going to come over here to the machine and you're going to drop it in right like this. Let it drop down so it drops all the way down. And then you're going to tighten it in here, just like this. Just like that. 
Okay. Next, we're going to load a sheet, a roll of vinyl. Now, on this machine, you have three adjustable rollers. Now, when you're putting your vinyl in here, there's one thing you got to make note of. There's a little get. There's a little uh, place right here where there's not a roller. You cannot put your roller in that area and lock it down there. It has to be on either side of it. So make sure when you're putting your your vinyl in there, I kind of you can see there's a a little sign there that says no pinch roller. So that means don't have the roller right there. So you can have it over here or over there. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and load a sheet of uh, a roll of vinyl. I'm going to load a, roll, a sheet of vinyl. And you just take it bar and you just roll it on here like this. And it just drops in the back of the slots. Just like that. And then we're going to take our vinyl. Just feed it up through here. All these should be open like this. And then you can have it down here. You can feed it, you can have it wherever you want. I'm just gonna put it kind of like in the center and feed it through here. Just so it comes out the other side. Make sure it's kind of level. By checking on this side and make sure you're level with the, these lines going across here. That looks pretty straight. Then I'm gonna lock down my edge ones right here, my edge roller. Just like that. My other edge roller. Lock it down. Just like that. Then, like I said, on this middle one, you cannot have it in this area right here. So we're going to put it over to the right or to the left right here. So I'm just going to move it over and put it right over here like this. Lock it down. Now our vinyl is in there. And then the next step will be to plug it in. It comes with a cord, obviously. And it plugs in over here on this side. Also there's the switch and the fuse over here on this side. We'll go ahead and plug it in. And your control is right here on the top. So we'll go ahead and turn the switch on over here. And now it should light up. And well, it rolls over here to the right. And now on this you can adjust the speed and the pressure or the force of your needle. So we're going to take this and move it over. So we'll press the offline button. And then we're going to move this over with the left arrow. So our cutter is over on our vinyl. That's how you move it. We can move our vinyl forward or backwards by pressing the forward or backward arrow like this. So that's pretty close to the edge right there. You don't want to be right on the edge. And then we're going to do a test. And uh, see how it does. Okay, we'll press this forward. I'll well, press the offline again. Come forward. Now we can see it printed out a test. If uh, it should have cut deep enough to where it would cut the vinyl, but not too deep to where it cuts through your backing. So that was perfect right there. It cut through my vinyl, but it didn't cut through my backing. So let me show you how I did that test again. I'm just going to move over here to the next side over here. Press up. Make sure you're offline. Go over. And wherever this is at is where it's going to start. So we're going to move our vinyl back a little bit. Just like that. And I'm going to press test again. And all we're doing is testing to see, make sure we have our needle set at the right depth. You press it twice. Okay, now press offline. And then we'll scoot it forward. There. And it's kind of hard to see. 
just like it normally is. But see how that is perfect. I mean, it's cutting. Now we can adjust the force a little bit if it's not. But I think that's doing pretty good. That's cutting through the vinyl, but it's not cutting through the backing. Now if you need to adjust the force, you can just come up here to setup. And then go to origin. See where it says force 140? Just click on force and then that's the speed. I'm moving the speed right now. And the force is your left or right arrow. So if you need a little more force, just we'll go up to 150. If you need less force, you go to 130. So I'm going to go to 150 and see what that does. Click offline. Let's go over one more square here. Alright, let's give that a test. You hit test and then test. Alright, go back offline. Oh, that's even, that's perfect. I mean, that just came right off. I didn't have to. So that's how you set it up to, uh, to adjust your needle. Okay. So, uh, we got the machine, the needle adjusted and set up. Next, we're going to go into how to uh, install the software into your computer. Okay, so the machine comes with this SignMaster uh, software. And this is what we're going to use to uh, install into our computer. And that's what talks to our vinyl cutter here and cuts the designs and everything that we want to cut. It is a disc. And if you open it up, inside you're going to have a product serial number right there. Now my computer did not, I don't have a, a DVD or a disc player on my computer. And if you don't have one, you can just download the software from the website. And make sure you download the Cut Basic Edition. And then you'll still use this product software when you install it. So uh, I'm going to show you how to install it on the computer right now. Okay, so in this section, I am going to show you how to install the SignMaster software for our vinyl cutter. Um, I do not have a disc player, so I am going to go to the SignMaster website, which is signmaster.software. If you do have a disc player, all you have to do is insert that disc, and it will install the software for you. But I do not have the disc, so I'm going to show you how to download it if you don't have a disc player. So you're going to come to signmaster.software, click on downloads. It's going to ask you for your uh, PSN number. Now that was the number I showed you inside the case. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my PSN number and then uh, continue from there. Okay, I've got my number entered, and I click on Submit. After you click Submit, you'll get this uh, link to download your program. Click on that. <clears throat> As you can see now, we're downloading the software. Depending on the speed of your uh, Wi-Fi or Internet, it could be a long process or a short process. So um, we'll go ahead and let this download. Like I said, if you have the disc and a player, you can just insert the disc and uh, it'll install the program for you. Okay, so um, I've got it downloaded. And um, we'll continue from there. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is select your language. Click OK. And then you'll have the license agreement. You need to accept that. And next. Now it's going to ask for that number again. So we'll go ahead and put our number in there again. And then hit Next. We'll accept this agreement. Click Next. 
click next and do you want do you work with metric or do you work with inches I'd like to work in inches so we'll click the inches click next now we're going to select our cutter model now there's a little sticker on the back of the machine that tells the model number this particular machine is a KW-870 D so we'll look down on this drop down menu you click on this little arrow right here and see a drop down menu we're going to select cutter KW-870D should see a green check mark and then we're going to click on next and then next again and now we will have the program installing should take a few minutes to install Okay, installation is complete. Click on that, click finish, and it launches the program. So here's the program that we're going to use with our vinyl cutting machine. It comes with some graphics. Um, there's instructions on how to use this on that thumb drive, which I have inserted. Let me show you what that looks like bring it over here so you can see so here's the thumb drive it comes with how to uh, install the stand um, it shows how to install the blade the uh, output video another output video it comes with the operation manual as you can see here it's a complete manual and it comes with uh, how to install the software, which I just showed you. So it does have some good information on that USB drive. If you get stuck or you need to refer to that, just uh, open it up in your computer and go where you need to go to uh, see what you need to do. Okay, so we're back here at the actual uh, software. This is SciMaster software okay so we are ready to uh, use our software first thing we need to do is click on new document and we're just gonna do a quick test to make sure that our machine is connected properly to this software so the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and click on the um, boxes select a square I'm just gonna open that little square up just like this and then I'm gonna come over here and select text and I want my text to be white so I can see it it doesn't really matter what colors you're using because the vinyl is only one color anyway so I'm gonna click on here test okay and then we'll just stretch this out just like that go up here select our arrow and just kind of I'm not an expert with this software, so I am just I just learned how to use it today to set up this machine. So I'm sure there's a lot you can do with it, and it's going to take some experimentation. But I just want to make sure that my machine is correctly hooked up to the software, so that when we are ready to print, that it will send the uh, instructions to the machine and cut our vinyl. So here we're just going to use this test okay so we'll go up here where it says file click on cut plot send to cutter now the first thing we need to do is make sure that our cutter is actually connected to the right port on the computer so we'll go to properties right here make this should this should be your cutter model number go to properties and then we will go to connection click on connection now look you should see your cutter and it should be on a direct com port and then when you click on this arrow it should be if you've already got it plugged in to your serial port with your cable you should see this USB serial com6 make sure all that is selected you could do auto select but it's just a lot easier just to click make sure you got USB serial 
once you have these three settings right click on done and now we are ready to cut our test we'll click on cut now proceed with cutting yes and if our machine is online which I need to turn it back online you should be able to hear it cutting right now And I will show you that again uh, on the camera, but you can hear it running. And uh, that's how you uh, cut from this software to your vinyl cutter. Okay, so we're getting ready to print another test on this. Uh, I've already showed you how to set the zero. And uh, you do that by going offline. And then you move left or right, back or four to where you want the start point to be then you press origin twice and now you're ready it should, if you click here you can see it's at zero zero okay you want it to be at zero zero or it's going to st always start at the same place if you don't say x zero y zero that's oh, zero, zero, zero zero that way i got you okay now we're going to press this airplane that i have right here so you're going to click file cut send to cutter cut now and then proceed with cutting yes and it should be online on your machine so it says offline and it don't cut just press the button and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut that square out We'll click this offline. That's our paper. I'm gonna cut this. This is a lot easier to weed it if it's not in the plotter. Alright, and then I can just weed this. Just like that. There you go. So as long as you remember to set your zero, your starting point on your on your paper, uh, you got everything set up. You can pretty much uh, print or cut anything you want that you put on here. This is a good size. You can print for you can print or cut decals for very large areas. Um, I just kind of touched the bait, you know, touched the surface on this, how to set it up. Uh, you'll have to learn more about the software, but um, you can use different color vinyl, different types of vinyl. You can use heat transfer paper, you know, anything that you could have done on a Cricut, you could do on this, but in a larger scale. So hopefully this review was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll place a link to this machine in the description, and if it's something you would like to purchase, click on my link and uh, watch my instructions and uh, hopefully you'll be able to uh, set it up and uh, start cutting vinyl. Thanks for watching.